Hey, got another adventure for today. I'm gonna meet Craig. He's from YouTube and he's also from Ottawa. He's got a sailboat and he's gonna take me out for my first time ever sailing. So hopefully I don't make too many embarrassing mistakes. Hopefully I don't look like too much of an idiot, but uh, either way, I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. Nice boat. So this is this is where all the action happens. This is where all the action happens, yeah. That's one of the reasons. People always ask why is it gotta be so big. It doesn't need to be so big if you're not heeled way over. But if you want to sit way over on the edge to look over the side of your boat and you want to, you don't want to be reaching way back mm -hmm. to get your thing. But this is the most important thing for solo sailing is to have an autopilot. Oh yeah, and these aren't these are not cheap. Alright, so it does that little half quarter of a turn just to tell you that it's actually engaged. If I get on a uh, beam reach, I don't need to tack at all. I literally can just set it on one heading going straight down the middle of the river and it'll, it'll just stay on that heading the whole that's time. That's so cool. I can go grab a drink or do whatever I want. Jeez, that, that, on that sounds really nice. That sounds like a very important feature. <laughs> yes, yes. Right, I would have loved to have like an external 10 liter or 20 liter preferably. Yeah, disgustingly dirty in there, but uh, there you go. But yeah, and that's then, a, and of course with the boat ones they come with, they're all aluminum. They're not steel. Oh, okay. Weird. So they can't and, rust. And you got uh, solar on the roof. You got a generator. Generator as a backup. As backup. a backup, backup. This is your back porch? Yeah. Nice back porch. Yeah. All right, come, right, on, come on in. So, kind of going uh, cool. clockwise. Got the galley here. So this is... The fridge that runs 24 7 with that solar. So oh. that's. It sways it back sways and with forth. The ocean, but that was one of the coolest revelations of sailing that yeah. I, when I started watching all the YouTubers, and I was like, what? You guys have stoves that rock back and forth? That's crazy. This is where, this is a V berth, or it's meant for two. Okay. Um, Janice sleeps in that one. There's a little memory foam she throws down on top to make it extra soft. And that's called a V berth because it's shaped, I suppose. Yeah. Yeah. That's actually really big. Yeah, it's got uh, storage on both sides. Like wow. Closets on both sides. This table will drop down and um, there's extra cushions. A little guest there, bed so here. It makes a double bed. And then, well then obviously this is where we do all our eating and uh, watching of TV or whatever on our laptops. Yeah. And then the head, which is the... The, the nautical important. term for pooping yeah. place. Yeah, bathroom. So, uh, that's, that's where all the poop goes. Yeah. <laughs> So it's a shower too. So what happens happening is you take the sink handle and oh. put it on this, and then it becomes a shower. And the shower drains there, and it electronically pumps the water out. This right here is a bit of an issue for me. Yeah, you're a tall guy. How tall are you? Too tall. I'm six foot six. Are so you? yeah, if you're taller, it's it's you. it's a big problem when I want to get into tiny houses, into like van dwelling, into sailboating. Every yeah. time it's like, oh, how yeah. many more thousands of dollars would you like to spend so yeah. that you can stand up straight? Yeah. Six six is a pretty hard thing to find in a boat. Sucks. I'm six feet, and so I've got a couple of... Yeah, you're doing good. Yeah. And that's the final... That's sort of designed to be the where where you comfortably would sleep to, because it's a square bed. Oh, okay. It goes right in behind the... Uh, All right, so you got low clearance on the, the yeah. one side and, and the length of so the other. So if I sleep in, on, on the left side and Janice is sleeping on the right side, she has to climb pretty much over me to get out to the washroom. Uh -huh. That's why we decided to just, well, we got two beds, let's use them, so... Jump on. Can I bring this rope with me? Yeah, <laughs> you can bring the rope with me. Okay,
first experience uh, sailing. We Good stopped job. up here for lunch for a little bit. And uh, I'm so excited, there's so many things going on. I mean, it's also it's simultaneously easier in some ways than I thought it was going to be. Yeah. And like, also a lot more involved than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, I just didn't... I just didn't anticipate a lot of the little things. All the wind gusts we went through there kind of... Probably. Yeah, the, the freaking... I didn't anticipate like Just all of a sudden you're like way over on your side. Oh, boy. All right. Well, you did a good job. I'm going to go for a swim, though. Was incredibly eye-opening it's you know I think the biggest shocker about the whole thing is uh, it's nowhere near as scary as I thought it was gonna be to be honest uh, I'm sure there's like a lot of nuances that I don't know and I'm sure there's like loads of stuff I have yet to learn but I went out there sailed in some pretty tame waters and it was pretty easy pretty nice and I didn't have to run all over the boat and it wasn't anything frantic and yeah I really had a lot of fun I think Craig's I mean, Craig knows what he's doing, so it's nice sailing with him too. So if you want to go check out more sailing videos, uh, you can either wait two years for me to buy a sailboat, <laughs> or you can go over to Craig's channel and check him out. It's uh, Cruising Off Duty, and he's here in the Ottawa area for now, Yeah. but soon. Eventually. I'll out there. Out in the world. Out in the world, and uh, we'll have to meet up then again. Yes, yes. when you have boat. your boat. Yeah, it'll be... Probably not as nice, <laughs> knowing me. But, uh, oh man, thank you so much for having me out. No problem, this is fun. God, this is so cool, so cool.